Paladin is one of the best security company in Canada and if you are looking for guidance to fill this job application forum, then stay with me and I'll also give you some tips and tricks to get job quickly. Hi, my name is Mandeep and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna go through step by step from this job application forum to fill it accurately and professionally. So watch until end. So let's get started. Firstly, we will go to Paladin's website. Go to careers. Then apply now. Here firstly you need to create an account. This is so simple. I know you guys can do it easily. I have already my account created so that's why I don't need and it's not asking me. Otherwise uh, they will ask you once you want to apply. So let's go to search engine. I'm filling the name of the big city nearby me. Because by this way, uh, this website gonna show you all the cities nearby and uh, if uh, you are living, uh, for example, in uh, British Columbia, so you can fill Vancouver here. So it's gonna show you all the cities nearby. I'll show you now. So as I filled Toronto, so now it is showing me all the cities like Oshawa, Newmarket, North York, downtown Toronto, Scarborough, like all the city near the Toronto area. And so you can choose uh, whichever position you like the most and uh, you can also sort it out uh, by uh, selecting on one of them. So you can select part time. So here all the part time position you can see some are full time and part time so it means like uh, on that side this particular side full time and part time both positions are available so that's why it is showing you like this <coughs> city of markham security guard casual position so before hitting apply now we can read all the description which will be uh, which can be found on this page so you can see here closing date job posting city of markham and the status will be casual and the pay rate will be 1540 usually paladin's pay rate goes to uh, 20 dollars mostly because uh, it depends on the site so sometime 15 sometime 16 18 or 20 so you can check it out by yourself but the one I'm showing that has uh, 1540 so don't think like uh, it always has 1540 it has uh, more to it always depend on the site so here we can say this is the job description and uh, like all the things you need to do and uh, your job duties will be here ability to work alone or in a team or the rest you can read so also these uh, job requirement they are asking for first aid and CPR that's okay like we always get it with the security card license they are as, uh, asking for use of force certification too but such type of certifications are always given by them so Paladin will give you physical and online training regarding these things so don't worry if you feel like uh, you don't uh, eligible but you are because uh, you just need a CPR and a security license or smart sir maybe I will make another video regarding smart sir how you can get it and where it will work for you so for the moment we can go ahead so their education requirement is always less just a high school diploma is okay and here their minimum requirement is one year security experience first aid and CPR security license as I told you just these two license are mandatory but sometimes smart serve and uh, one year security experience they ask for security experience but um, uh, the people who are fresher they can still apply for this job 
मे बी इफ दे गेट अनदर पीपल हु हैव वन ईयर सिक्योरिटी एक्सपीरियंस दोज विल बी प्रेफर्ड बट इफ दे डोंट गेट दोज पीपल हु हैव एक्सपीरियंस दैन अ फ्रेशर फाइल विल बी पिकड अप सो डोंट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड जस्ट अप्लाई वट एवर यू फील लाइक लॉकिन ओके हेयर इट इज आस्किंग टू अपलोड योर रेज्यूमे this website there is autofill handle who will collect all the information from your resume so here they are asking how did you hear about our company proposition so i would like to fill paladin's website so this is about job notification yes be careful about contact information guys because uh, this is such information which is necessary to get you contacted so uh, don't uh, don't do any mistake here so this is my experience you are working currently you can tick here so these uh, these things will be removed country canada city hamilton province ontario so they are asking what the job type was part time my job description so make sure you are filling the same job description as uh, you fill in your uh, resume because otherwise these things uh, does it look professional and the employer can ask a question about it like why they are not matching so my was 16 so exact reason for leaving so here you definitely you gonna tell them truth but um, remember this thing this thing like the reason for your leaving of uh, previous company gonna impact your this profile so be careful with it Save this. Tone car security services, Kitchener. So here they are asking for country. But sometimes it doesn't fill automatically. Here again, check the description. And uh, my reason for leaving was uh, so i'm not trying to give any negative reason here because i know this gonna impact my profile just one more experience 
so remember guys uh, i have all the security guard experience because i actually had so that's why i'm filling these one but for you guys if you don't have security experience just fill your customer service experience it could be anything it could be your uh, working at a grocery store working at uh, tim hortons uh, pizza store anywhere anywhere you worked that uh, will be counted as uh, uh, Canadian experience of customer service so don't be shy just to mention whatever you have because that gonna uh, strong your profile so even though you didn't do the security thing but you still did something so that really matters guys so i answered all the experience thing so now they asking about education graduation so yeah did you meet any of these education requirement yes for sure so this is about my certificate so when you have just a certificate and not degree or diploma so they not gonna as you have to fill other because they don't give you any other option uh, when you did just a certificate program so you gonna fill other and when you gonna fill other so they they just ask you the location nothing else so we are good to go okay this is uh, system mistakes so i'm gonna delete it so again another one so there is nothing here just the same thing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete it because there is no further information in it so i will keep just one instead of 2 3 and these are the again courses thing which was a part of my study but i can't uh, mention that uh, separately so this is about my degree and here as i told you when you have degree or diploma they gonna ask you all the details uh so guru nanak dev university yeah i did it in uh, india instead of united states Here we go. The so city was Amritsar, and the reason was Punjab. Bachelor's degree, and my major was Bachelor of Arts. And my status, I'm graduated. So all done here. So again, they are asking uh, another thing: requirements, minimum of one year security experience, standard first aid CPR level C. valid ontario security license do you meet any of these yes so now i need to give them all the information regarding my license which i mentioned in my resume so this section you can mention separately in your resume and uh, when you come here in application they going to ask you all the details and you will have to fill so i filled all the information here so the issuer for the first aid and cpr level see mine was red cross and uh, mostly in canada it is done by the red cross you can find it on your certificate when you have it will clearly mention by whom it is issued okay let's go to smart serve you going to fill it so i filled it like this so it is all issued by the alcohol and gaming commission of ontario if it is hard to, for you to find you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, copy it from here uh, so for this expiry date you cannot find this expiry date on your license but you need to remember this uh, smart serve 
this uh, this does not expire any time so as long as you have this license it gonna it, it gonna be valid so that's why i'm just uh, filling the current date uh, uh, like today's date because it doesn't expire so save this okay so we must let's fill this one so this training workplace hazardous material information system this is always get done by employer when uh, you work in any warehouse or factory so because that place uh, environment is too risky to work so that's why this training should be done and if you have this one you should mention it and uh, if you don't have then doesn't worry about it so this is issued by ministry of labor this is license number and for its expiry date you need to remember it is uh, done on a yearly basis so uh, like if you get it done uh, one date of the year then the same date of the next year it gonna expire so that's why uh, i did uh, when i achieved it i achieved on this month and this date and i'm writing the same date here for my expiry so it is, if it is already expired and you didn't renew it so then i guess you should not mention in this application but if it is still valid then you should mention so save this thing next do you have a valid first and uh, CPR certificate? Yes. Are you able to work very swift? Yes. A valid security license is required. Okay. So they are asking when it does it expire. So mine is this one. Do you have, if you have, when does it expire? They are asking the same question. Maybe it's a system glitch. Are you currently employed by Paladin? No, I'm applying as a fresher, so no. Are you able to work in the Markham? And uh, yes, I'm able to. Such type of question you will have to say yes, otherwise your possibility to get a job are low. So alternative phone number, wage expected. Eligible to work in Canada? Yes. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? No. Okay, as I told you, this uh, like uh, the reason of leaving previous company gonna impact uh, your profile. So you can see it here. Have you been ever terminated or forced to resign from any employer? No. Have you ever applied with or worked for Paladin? No. Did you complete this application by yourself? Yes. Okay, so this is the statement here. Uh, just to sign, I guess. So I'm gonna like we're gonna sign here. So this is the statement, like the policy in terms, kind of. So yeah, like if you'd uh, agree, select no or exit this website. No, I agree with that. So I say yes. These, these are electronic signature guys. Okay, that's all about it. I hope you like it. Thank you. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe my channel because this is the only thing keeps me motivated to get more content for you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.